What's up, everybody? Go Burns ranking the vehicles that came out with last week's Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 DLC. And uh, I know my week's been kind of weird. I haven't been exactly posting normal videos, but it's E3, so I've been watching a lot of E3 videos. And I've just been uh, doing a few other things, working on other projects, but I'm still trying to post at least one video a day. Anyways, let's get to it, shall we? The six vehicles that came with Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 ranked... And uh, the big thing we're going to go on is money. That's right, dollar signs. And this was probably one of the most expensive DLCs that has come out thus far for Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, $20 million in Grand Theft Auto currency is what it would cost for all six of these vehicles, which equates to $260 U.S., in shark cards. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be the future of Grand Theft Auto Online DLC. Ilgon Gains Part 2 will probably have some expensive rides as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Ilgon Gains Part 1 vehicles ranked starting at number 6, the Luxor Deluxe. And I think this is pretty obvious why it's at the bottom of the list. It is a Luxor with a gold paint job, a nicer interior. You can drink champagne and smoke cigars if you have current gen Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Last gen, sorry, you guys get screwed on that one. But the big down arrow on the Luxor Deluxe is the price tag $10 million in Grand Theft Auto currency. That's over 100 bucks US in shard cards. Not to mention the fact that performance and stat-wise, the Luxor Deluxe does not handle any better or worse than the regular Luxor, which is only at $1.75 million. Now, going into number five on the list is the Swift Deluxe Helicopter, coming in at $5 million, which is obviously a big negative when it comes to the Swift Deluxe. Deluxe. It also comes with a gold exterior, a nice interior with Corinthian leather. Like with the Luxor Deluxe, if you get the Swift Deluxe on current gen and PC, you can do a few activities inside like drink champagne and browse the internet. Stat-wise, the Swift Deluxe is no better or worse than the regular Swift helicopters. Performance and the price tag at $5 million is the main reason why the Swift Deluxe helicopter is at number five on the list. Moving up to rank number four, it's the Sterling GT, which comes in at nearly a million dollars without any upgrades to it. It's very expensive, a big negative. While it does come with a number of customization options at Los Santos Customs, the Benefactor Sterling GT is definitely not the best in the sports classic category when it comes to racing. Coming in at number three on our ranked rides list is the Virgo, which is the cheapest vehicle that came with Field Guide and Gains Part 1, listed for $195,000, but at the same time, it is the most expensive muscle car in the game now. However, the Gauntlet, the Sabre, the Dominator are all much better performance and stat-wise in the muscle category, and they're way cheaper, like Five Finger Discount cheaper, like Grand Theft Auto cheaper, because you can steal those rides off the streets. However, the Virgo does have a number of modification features at Los Santos Customs, and it also has a pretty badass sounding engine. Moving on up to number two on our list is the Ennis Windsor, which is listed for $845,000. It is the most expensive coupe in the game. However, it does have eight awesome liveries to pick from, and if you don't care for the liveries, you can always put a regular paint job on it. Stat and performance wise, the Windsor handles itself pretty well against other coupes. However, it does not come with any other modification or custom options in Los Santos Customs other than the eight liveries. By the way, feel free and let me know below in the comment section which is your favorite ride that came with Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, or you can rank the vehicles, feel free and do so, or submit your idea for Top 5 Ideas 11 coming up hopefully on Friday. You have till tomorrow to submit your Top 5 Ideas, so do so below in the comment section via Twitter or Facebook or the comment section below as I mentioned. Feel free and submit your idea on ways to improve Grand Theft Auto Online to make it better, funnier, silly, greater, more awesome, or if you have a DLC idea, that'll work too. If I get enough ideas, we will do Top 5 Ideas 11 coming up this Friday. Maybe. Okay. Anyways, here it is. Number one on our list for the ranked rides for Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, the Pegasi Osiris Supercar. 
The only negative I can say about the Osiris is the price tag, which is nearly $2 million without any upgrades or modifications whatsoever. However, this is the future of DLCs, unfortunately, in Grand Theft Auto Online. So the price tags have been knocked up. That's going to happen with Ill Gotten Gains Part 2 content and future DLCs this year and possibly even next year. So that's just something we have to expect from Rockstar for now on. It is, like I mentioned, the most expensive supercar currently in the game. It is compatible stat and performance-wise versus the other top supercars like the Zentorno, the Adder, and the Entity in various races. Plus, the Osiris has a number of modification features at Los Santos Customs, and it's easily one of the fastest cars currently in Grand Theft Auto Online.